All right, so part three today, and I have skipped kind of straight to here. I'm going to show you what I've got, and then you're going to go over the code. So I'm going to run this, and I've got a little game where I've got dolphins moving around the screen like we did the other day. Oop, almost got caught there. And I've got starfish, and the lobster is going to collect the starfish. So watch what happens when I hit a starfish. It goes away. Okay, and so in a in a good game, once we get all this done, once I collect all the starfish, then maybe a portal opens up and I go to another world, or you know I have a score. And we'll get to that point, but at this point, we're just doing collision detection. So if I get hit by a dolphin, I'm dead. Okay, so how did I do that? Well, let's go take a look at the dolphin class. Okay, so in the dolphin class, you're going to see the code we had the other day. Now, you may notice, you will notice that I've done a whole bunch of this stuff and you're thinking what is this these are comments and these are just these are actually not included in the code like when the computer goes to execute the instructions we give it these are not included this is only for other programmers who want to read and find out what we did so these are comments that I'm putting in the code that tell you what I'm doing so this section is automated movement and on this line right here, we change the location. And so these comments tell you what I'm doing. So down here, you see collision detection. And it's really not too hard. This line right here, it says, let's see if we are intersecting with a lobster. So we say, we call this method, say, get one intersecting object. So, so we check to see, hey, is our dolphin, because don't forget, we're in the dolphin class. Is the dolphin intersecting with the lobster? And if it is, then we store the lobster in this variable. So that's a little bit of a jump, because in the past, what we've done so far with variables is we've said you can store integers in variables. So like y move is really three, right? So what I'm doing here is I'm saying, this right here says, hey, did I hit a lobster? And if I did, we're going to store that lobster here, because there could be multiple lobsters. So which one did we hit? In this case, there's only one. We store it here. And if it turns out that we did hit something, so this is a double negative, it's a little weird, it says if not null, so in other words, if we hit something, we are going to remove the lobster from the screen. Okay, so what that looks like is, so all of the dolphins are running the same code. And so they are bouncing around the screen, and they're constantly going, did I hit a lobster, did I hit a lobster, did I hit a lobster, no, 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 I didn't. But eventually, one of them's going to go, yep, I did, I'm going to remove it from the screen. And that's how that works. Okay? And so collision detection isn't too bad. You just determine what it is you're trying to hit or looking for, and if you successfully hit something, then you do stuff. In this case, I removed the lobster from the screen, but we could add score, we could... You know, there's a, whatever you want to do, you just put it in here. If you hit something, then you do it. Okay? So I have collision detection for the dolphin. So the dolphin checks to see if it hit the lobster. But where else must there be collision detection? Well, there must be something that determines if the lobster hits the starfish. And so I'm going to leave it up to you to try to figure that out today. Now, the other thing you'll notice is that I have starfish so I put another actor into the world so you're gonna have to pick another actor you've got your hero or sorry my hero is the lobster my enemies are the dolphins and then I've got the starfish and you may notice that I changed the background as well that's all done here in my world if I just right click and go set image I can create a background and I seem to have this underwater theme so I pick something that looks sort of like water and if I go right in here you'll see that I've got a lot more of these odd objects. And this is why I've got a lobster, three dolphins, and two starfish to start the game. And I've picked these numbers to space them out so that when the game starts, nothing's hitting. So uh, that dolphin, if I wanted to move that dolphin, say, over here, I would just go to my world and take this dolphin here and maybe make it, you know, I don't know, 360. And then that dolphin moves over. Okay? So let's see if you can get to that point today and uh, of course ask questions if you have them.